Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I of course am your host CDB, you are not. And today we're going to do kind of a classic shave with Perazzo Green. And if you're new to wet shaving and you've never tried this one, it is certainly worth trying. It's sort of a classic. Uh, the scent to me is not remarkable. It's mo mostly a eucalyptus type scent, but uh, it's a soap that most people use at some point uh, on their journey. And it was certainly... Uh, one of the first soaps that I ever used. I think the first two soaps that I ever used were uh, Tobbs um, Sandalwood and this uh, Perazzo Green, which of course I got from Amazon, you know, because everybody gets everything from Amazon these days. Uh, and certainly when I first started wet shaving before I discovered all the wonderful vendors, I, uh, I got my first bit of gear from Amazon. I think I ordered a uh, uh, Edwin Jagger DE89 and whoops I'm getting get lather all over the place all right uh, EJ DE89 uh, I think I had a Parker uh, best Bazer brush and uh, Perazzo green and uh, Tobbs I think is some of the first gear if not the uh, first gear ever used and it's not bad equipment to tell you the truth even uh, Today. Now, I don't own all of that stuff. You know, the, the brush was not, you know, it was not very good. But the rest of the gear, actually, not bad at all. And in fact, I could get probably just as good a shave today with that as I could with, you know, most other gear. To be very honest with you. Okay, let's see what we got here. You can definitely feel that. Uh, I believe there's a little menthol or maybe it's that eucalyptus that... Uh, Provides a little bit of cooling in this uh, soap. Let's cut that back a little bit. And uh, got stuff all over my shirt already. It's way early in the video for that. Also going to be using the classic uh, Fat Boy on tin. And inside the Fat Boy is riding a uh, Astra SP blade. I hope everybody has been having a great weekend thus far. I'm having a pretty good weekend. Went out for a little bit yesterday. Just picked up some things we needed to from the store and uh, went to Lowe's. You know, it's my, my wife, it was the first time she's gotten out since she had her shoulder procedure about a week and a half ago. And so it was nice to get out and take care of a few things. And then we Came back and uh, watched a football game on uh, you know, the West Virginia Mountaineers, which is, of course, I'm from here in West Virginia, playing the Tennessee Volunteers, but they were playing down in Charlotte. And uh, the WVU have a have very uh, flat first half, but in the second half they played well and won pretty handily, which they should have. Because at this point in time, they're a much better team than is Tennessee. Of course, Tennessee's had some great teams throughout the years, but just in recent years, uh, they're not the program they once were. But, you know, that happens. Uh, they kinda, it kind of comes and goes. But anyway, I guess back to the... Let's get some of this off so I don't look... Well, I look goofy anyway, but that makes it even more goofy. Anyway... There we go. I made a nice lather in the bowl with this uh, Perazzo. But the one thing you get, like I said, the scent is not remarkable. Don't, spe don't expect a, a remarkable scent. And if you're familiar with the aftershave, the soap does not smell like the aftershave. I wish they made a soap that smelled like the aftershave, but in my view, the soap really doesn't smell like the aftershave at all. But it is a good soap, and I'm just flinging <laughs> lather everywhere. But that is okay. We can clean it up as necessary. All right, so we are ready to go. Pass number two. Um, by the way, these vintage razors, I used to strongly dislike them, but uh, if you don't mind a mild uh, shave, they actually work well. It just took me, I don't know, actually a couple of years before I really started to Appreciate them. I mean, I do appreciate the fact that they've held up over time and uh, all that kind of thing, but uh, 
it is uh, really remarkable to tell you the truth how well these razors have held up and I have some razors or at least a couple that are over a hundred years old and uh, they still do a fine job so back then they certainly knew how to make make things without the benefit of all the technology we have today and it, it's kind of interesting when you think about it when you think about these adjustable razors how difficult they are to produce like Rockwell really had a lot of uh, you know I wouldn't say difficulty, but delays and delays and delays due to quality control issues. And, you know, that project was put back a number of times. And I don't know where it is today. I assume they've, you know, shipped some out. Uh, and I'm sure it'll be a good razor whenever they ultimately get them all out to folks. But, uh, you know, when Gillette made this, they didn't have any of the advantages that the, the companies today do with research uh, in the way that you can today and the, the benefit of computer, you know, you used to just have to draw it out on paper and, and go and trial and error, I guess. Now, today, you know, you can develop uh, heads with, like some people I've seen do prototypes with the 3D printer. Not that you can make it adjustable with a 3D printer, but I've seen other uh, razors that when they did prototypes they just initially printed them to see how they would feel and how they come together and there's all sorts of advantages today and of course the manufacturing has the ability to manufacture and things is, is far advanced but they still managed to make an outstanding razor that stood the test of time back when they made this fat boy and other vintage razors like that ABC razor which are which is, you know, roughly 100 years old, or over, actually. I think if I'm uh, correct, those were, some of them were made as early as 1907 or somewhere thereabouts. I may not be exactly right on that date, but uh, they're certainly got a lot of age on them, but they still work beautifully. The ones uh, that I have that were sent to me by uh, Don the Navy Goat, uh, really work beautifully and beautiful razors. So if you can find one somewhere, the old ABC razors, and it's in work, good working condition, it's definitely worthy of trying. The ones I have are open comb, and I don't know if those were the only ones that they produced, but they were really good, nice uh, open comb razors. I'll, I'll bring one of those out and use it in the maybe next weekend, because I'm sort of on the uh, cycle of doing videos on the weekend. I don't really have as much time during the week to do them in the morning as I used to, just too busy. So I try to, you know, bang out one or two or sometimes three videos on the weekends for you all, and I hope you uh, enjoy. And I want to thank you for the emails that you, you've sent, the well wishes, the questions, and, you know, all the rest. I really do appreciate you hanging with me. Uh, I don't follow, you know, viewer numbers, but I suspect I don't have as many viewers as I once did because I'm not trying products furiously and and uh, all the time. And it's mostly just me, you know, giving my thoughts on the products and, and, and really whatever's going on in the world and everything else. And some people aren't interested on my views on the world, just the shaving, and that is okay. Uh, but, you know, like I've always said, I do what I like on my channel, and if you're along for the ride, welcome. And if you don't want to be, you know, I certainly understand. There are plenty of other great people to watch. That was actually a really comfortable, uh, excellent uh, shave. Mild, but very, very good. Let me rinse, and uh, we'll come back and do a post. Stay tuned. All right, and here we are back with the magic made by witches. There's witch hazel. Cucumber, of course, is my personal favorite. We'll slap a little bit of that on. And... Uh, Talk quickly about the gear we use today before we get to our aftershave. Fat Boy with the, um, by the way, the setting was on nine, uh, Astra SP blade, nice mild shaver. Even the vintage uh, adjustables all the way cranked up are still, in my opinion, uh, mild. Uh, they're not on the 
Feather ASD2 mild in, but they're still mild even when you crank them all the way up, in my opinion. There's not much aggressive in most of the vintage uh, razors. Some, but uh, most are on the mild side. We used the Perazzo Green uh, soap, which is a classic soap. I forgot to mention the Razor Rock Big Bruce brush, which is outstanding. Of course, a lot of times I forget to mention my Timeless Bow, which I just absolutely love. And we'll close it out today with the Perazzo Green Aftershave, which is a really nice uh, aftershave. Nice and uh, clean, fresh. Sort of a classic, you know. It, it reminds you of a classic, just old-fashioned aftershave. Like, um, not in scent, but just the way it presents itself. The, you know, like Aqua Velva and Brute and all that. But this is a nicer version. It's got a really nice scent, in my opinion. The Perazzo Green after today. I want to thank all of you for joining me once again. Until next time, I've been your host, CDP. You're not. God bless.